What have I learned from running a 5K for almost a year? I think that one of the first things that I've learned is that you do get faster, you do get stronger, and your cardio cardio health uh, does increase. Your ability to catch your breath increases. Um, you do get in shape from, from running <laughs> 5K. We're training for a 5K for almost a year. It's almost a year now. We're coming into February. And uh, that'll make it uh, 11 months. February will be the 12th month of me running. And I ran one of my fastest times uh, this past Tuesday. So that does work. Um, it does not make me lose weight, I believe. I, I'm inconclusive about the weight loss because I may have gone down in size, but my weight has not gone down. And But I can attribute that to not uh, doing the diet that I should so there's that um I didn't lose a bunch of weight but I did get in shape so your level of being in shape for me at this stage of my journey is not directly connected to my weight because while I was at a skinnier weight or a lower weight um which was mainly from nutrition, I was not able to run a 5K at the time. I started running it probably around 2019 or starting over it again. So another thing that running a 5K almost year has taught me is that getting in shape and uh, getting in shape and I'm sorry, I'm just getting my thoughts together. So another thing I learned about it was that getting in shape and making changes to your body like this takes time and does not happen overnight. It's funny because I just bought another pair of shoes from Walmart. And there's these Air Max shoes that I get from Walmart for my job. And those were the exact same type of shoes I started running in. I recently bought some New Balance shoes and those shoes were very expensive, but they, were, they had a very quality feeling to them. Um, they did let some air in in the cold because I definitely felt it in my feet. But I wore the soles out on them. So it's like, if I do buy some more running shoes, they're going to have to be less expensive. Um, I do I do like their quality. However, um, I remember getting those shoes worried about how my feet feel. Because I remember my feet hurting from weight and other issues. So, um, so I ran in these shoes and they're nice and flat and even. And so I, I see I'm definitely going to have to keep going through shoes because I have a wear pattern that wears out on the outside heel. And I believe that can cause issues. So I want to keep more out of that. If I got to buy cheaper shoes more frequently, then I'll do that. But because I spent a good penny on those New Balance shoes and for them to be wore out like that in about a year. Um, I'm not going to keep dropping near $200 on shoes. I better do that now. But I should get my first pair of Jordan Jordans. Why not? Everybody else is doing it. Maybe I should save for a pair of Jordans for um, recreational use, not for working out. No. Uh, so, yeah, those are the things I learned. So now I'm in the second week of my uh, weight training. Now I'm still running, but now I'm starting to add weight training to it. And one thing I hate is um, lack of mastery. So I'm at, a, I'm at like... I'm at like the same stage I was when I started running, which was basically I could barely run for a whole set. I was running very slow for those whole sets during the, the running phases of the Castle 5K app. I was doing a very slow. And then sometimes I would have to walk a whole running set just to catch my breath and recover. And but somehow I pushed through that. Now I'm running the whole thing all the way through. It's kind of hard to believe. I really wish I had documented that. So that's why I'm documenting my weight training journey because who knows what can happen within a year. And as much, and I can't dwell on, I wish I had this done already. I can't dwell on that. But what I can do right now is know that it will maybe take a year for me to actually see results. And that's a hard pill to swallow, but I'll swallow it. And I, I don't really have excuses not to work out. I don't have too many obligations outside of myself that prevents me from going to the gym consistently and working out. I did leg day. My arms are still a little sore. I did my push-ups. I am not doing the best of that because my arms are not fresh from the weight training. So my push-ups are suffering. And then within two weeks, I'm doing my next push-up test. 
to see how many push-ups I can do in a row. The goal is to be able to do 100 um, every day or every other day straight through. That's the goal. So I know my arm strength is getting better because I can knock out 20 like nothing. I can knock out like two sets of 20 like nothing now. Um, it's just that when I do the third, fourth, and fifth set, um, I do have to modify still, but I still think that does play a role as far as if I did the upper body workout, which I do uh, pretty regularly. So I could easily still be recovering from Monday because I did uh, try to go hard and I got to go hard Friday on the way. So that's going to be my Friday. That's going to be my Friday fun. And then I think there's a show going on this Friday that I'm going to try and be a part of. Which is great because I went out and sung in a while. So that'll be good. So I have to remember that it's going to take time. There's so many life milestones and things I want to happen right now. Um, I want to actually know what life is like as a skinnier person. Is it different? Is it better? Is it worse? I don't know. But I'm curious. So... Now that I've dedicated, now I know how to stay dedicated to a running regime. And now I'm shifting gears. And, you know, February, I'm already thinking about February. February is going to be a serious month because I'm going to seriously, like, hawk down on nutrition. Like, I'm going to seriously eat like a caveman or something. I'm going to really go hard on the nutrition. Like, what I'm, I'm going to shoot for what is my known best on nutrition. My known best nutrition is getting the calories down and I'm not going to like it. I'm going to want to have that feel good soda or that feel good pizza or, you know, I'm going to want that. <laughs> but I want to lose weight more. More now than ever, especially what's happened with my father, um, with me getting older. And since things aren't perfect, I want to at least do whatever I can to make myself as great as I can to myself. At least I have that. And I think others and someone else will appreciate that. So this vlog is done. That's what I learned. See you in the next vlog.